Schitt's Creek, one of the sweetest shows on television, has sadly come to an end after six remarkable seasons. The brainchild of Dan Levy and his father, comedy legend Eugene Levy, this heartfelt, hilarious show was an instant classic right out of the gate. And no wonder. The Rose family is a truly unforgettable bunch. Eugene Levy plays Johnny Rose, the often flummoxed businessman father. Dan Levy plays his endlessly anxious son, David Rose. Then there's the eccentric matriarch Moira, played by the legendary Catherine O'Hara. And let's not forget David's spoiled but entirely lovable sister Alexis, played by Annie Murphy. After the family's video store empire crumbles beneath them and leaves them penniless, the family is forced to relocate to the town of Schitt's Creek, which they once purchased as a joke. Many of the show's earlier episodes revealed that the Roses were highly dissatisfied with their newly modest way of life. Every member of the Rose family eventually warms to their circumstances, even though they're cooped up in adjoining rooms at the rundown Rosebud Motel. In the pitch-perfect finale, the Levies and the cast and crew of Schitt's Creek let audiences say goodbye to the family in one final, surprisingly moving episode. Most of the sixth and final season of Schitt's Creek was leading up to a big wedding. Well, in the final episode, David and his loving fiancé Patrick, played by Noah Reed, finally tie the knot. Almost immediately, the proceedings hit a major snag. A storm hit the town and was expected to last all day. Sadly, David prioritized an outdoor pizza oven over a tent. And since the officiant he hired only travels by penny farthing, the wedding has no venue and no one to preside over it. Since everyone else is too emotional to handle the ceremony, Moira steps up to the challenge. Meanwhile, Patrick and ever-sarcastic Stevie, played by Emily Hampshire, work to find a wedding venue. Oh, and Patrick arranges a massage for David, which comes with… an extra surprise. After securing the town hall for the ceremony, Patrick and Stevie return to find David in an uncharacteristically good mood, and right away he thanks Patrick for booking him such an unforgettable massage. That was the first time I have ever received a happy ending. Sorry, what did you just say? Horrified, Patrick says that definitely wasn't part of the plan. Then he realizes something. Asking the masseuse to treat David well and leaving an envelope of cash may have sent the wrong message. Thankfully, this raunchy rubdown doesn't turn into some big drama. Thanks to Patrick's understanding attitude and David's freewheeling sexuality, the wedding is still very much on. Ultimately, the wedding goes perfectly, despite the fact that Alexis walks David down the aisle in a wedding dress. Apparently, the fact that it came with a tulle headdress didn't faze her. This is not a wedding dress, it's a white floor-length gown. It's very different. Moira, dressed as the Pope in a long blonde wig, delivers a touching and tearful ceremony. And just in case you weren't crying already, David and Patrick deliver an emotional set of vows. In a nod to the first time Patrick told David that he loves him, he sings Mariah Carey a cappella, while David tells Patrick that he's never felt so safe and loved. And that is truly his happy ending. Aww. Cut to the next morning, it's time for everyone to part ways. After a sleepless night celebrating the wedding, Moira and Johnny set off for California. Moira is poised to resume her role on Sunrise Bay, the soap opera that made her a star. Meanwhile, Alexis is set to head to New York, and Patrick and David will remain in Schitt's Creek in their new house. It's a truly emotional goodbye. It feels like the actors and characters are simultaneously offering tearful farewells to people and places they truly love. Moira and Johnny set off, stopping for one last look at the vaguely obscene town sign that has been repainted to depict the Rose family themselves. And that's that. Don't be too sad after finishing this tearjerker of a finale. After all, you can stream the first five seasons of Schitt's Creek on Netflix right now and start the story all over again. The full sixth season should be available for streaming later this year. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.